So, uh, this this happened already once. Indigo One, not with Indigo One. Last month, there was a tune that I could not get a hold of. I just, mm, they weren't working for me. Indigo One is becoming that for me now. It feels like she's trash. It feels like she is absolute trash. So, R&D mode on this in-depth guide before the verses of Indigo versus Mary uh, Shazam. I'm gonna see if I can make her work. Let's get to the video. There is a difference between you and me. We both looked into the abyss. But when it looked back at us, you blinked. Hi guys, I'm Gravy here, and this is a DZ Legends video. In this video, I'm going in depth on Indigo 1, part one of the verses. So we will have Indigo 1, then we'll have Mary Shazam, and then we'll have Mary Shazam versus Indigo 1, who should you invest in? So far, it feels like Mary Shazam has already won, and I haven't even play tested her yet. Okay, because Indigo 1, from, from what I can tell so far, she just can't stay alive. I was trying to do um, videos for this guy getting it ready. I can't tell you how many battles I just kind of gave up on or couldn't win because she just doesn't survive. She has, she's a glass, I would say cannon, but she doesn't do damage. So she's just glass. Um, but in any case, love the skin. Skin's awesome, blah, 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 blah. Really like the skin. However, I, I, I genuinely do like the, t the glowing tattoos. I Well, we won't go into one of my tattoos. Anyway, so... Indigo Blast. Damage to an enemy, and let me go ahead and hide this so I can see. Damage to an enemy. Apply two strength downs, two intelligence downs, 20% turn meter down to the target. Transfer three debuffs from Indigo 1 to the target. That seems like an awesome ability. It really does. Um, apply three mins to all allies on Light of Compassion. Also apply 25% turn meter and death immunity to a primary target. You usually, or at least me, the only way I've been able to get her to survive is that when she opens up, I give her the A2 so she has death immunity. So when she gets hit and one shot by like reds, she actually survives. Um, I'm hoping it's a bug. I really am because she cannot be this squishy. Damage to all enemies and purge five buffs from targets on spectrum uh, emulation. Apply buff immunity to primary target if Indigo 1 has no debuff. If Indigo 1 has a debuff, use Light of Compassion on herself. Now, this would also be an awesome ability. And actually, I got to think about that a little bit more. Going into opening up the A3, I can open up with the A3 and still give her death immunity. So I got to keep an eye out for that while at the same time purging five buffs from the enemies. Okay. So, Proselyte. Proselyte? Proselyte. Proselyte? Sure. Uh, passive ability. Every time Indigo 1 receives damage. 90% chance to apply three strength downs. That would be 100% if I had that ringed out. Three intelligence downs, two attacker, and gain 30% turn meter up. This a bit, and then a call assist and transfer up to five debuffs to the attacker. This would be awesome if you didn't have to keep her wrapped up in damage immunity and death immunity in order for her to survive. Like she gets one shot easily. And then once she has damage immunity, or death immunity, she's not taking damage because it specifically says when she receives damage. If you have damage immunity, you don't receive damage. You have death immunity and your health is zero, you're not receiving damage. So it doesn't really trigger. And I'm hoping, honestly, that I'm going into this whole rant and that in the meantime and in between time, they've actually fixed a bug because she really, really does not survive. Passive ability on leading light. If someone on the team has at least one disease at the end of their turn, 95% chance to purge up to six debuffs and apply three mins. Also an awesome ability. She seems to have like so many good abilities. It's just that she can't survive. So I'm going to go ahead and take her in the heroic campaign. I haven't even done this part yet because she just wasn't. Mm. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take her in. Uh, let's put that to the side. I was horrible at raids. Apologies to my alliance. My weekend was so like stupid, stupid booked that I didn't get a chance to do anything in raids. And I got to send like a, a personal apology to my alliance. Anyway, heroic campaign, chapter eight, final node. Let's see what she does. She has heals. She has death immunity. So you would think she could survive it or that she could do well with it. Let's see. Uh, let's see some of the animations first. So we like, so she should have had, all right. So now she has a debuff. 
truth be told, given how I like I like the animations, given how crappy she was performing in PvP, she seems to be surviving relatively well here. Cause I she was so bad in PvP, I was worried about her ability to to survive in um in this heroic campaign. But she seems to be okay. Maybe I was just running into some beasts at the time and I just didn't properly evaluate that. Here's hoping. I want her to be good. A lot of what she offers is awesome. So, yep, men. So she has, like, this is the thing I was saying about going through these waves. She has the men. She has the death immunity. So she'll survive it more likely than not now that I can see that the hits aren't going to do that much damage. So then maybe, well, when I, we'll see when I go into PvP. We'll see. Um... Because I go into this whole rant, but hopefully she's putting so many intelligence downs and strength downs. Or maybe that's it. If you get them with the strength downs and the intelligence downs, they can't do as much damage. So then the damage that they do do doesn't matter. Because as you can see, he's not like Necron is not doing any damage because of all the strength downs and intelligence downs. He can't do anything. She's physical based, so not special damage. Brrr. So maybe run her under atrocities. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Let's go ahead and go into PvP and see if I can make something work before I call it a video. All right, so let's just go at a tomato can Lex team. And plus, this will benefit her because she will be running under Aquaman, who grants crit immunity to his entire team. So that means when she does get hit, hopefully it won't take her out. Um, and I do want her to get hit here because of um, Black Flash. I want her to proc that ability. So I'm going to go ahead and let her get hit. Then also, you know what? Let's put Riddler in there because he will um, apply agility downs, which will help her hit harder, which I'm not bringing her for damage. So you guys know. I'm not bringing her for damage. And maybe the better route there would, then to go, would be then to go with somebody who puts out strength downs. So that way she can take more damage. And int downs for Spectre. But right now, we'll just go with this. And then, uh, who else? Let's put out one more red. We can get a damage dealer in there. Uh, Superboy too easy. Let's go with Huntress. Let's see what Huntress is working with. All right, so. Here we go. Now, I think if we end up with debuffs in the beginning, that depends. Uh will not oh nope nobody got the doom okay so let's go ahead and crank that up see if we can take out specter to make this just a ridiculously easy battle all right so now give myself the death immunity okay yep yeah, see and then let me see open up with this i have no debuffs at the moment uh so buff immunity on the primary target is that what it is let's do that Okay, and then we'll go ahead and put the taunt on Spectre or kill him. That works too. And then we can go ahead and just go auto from here. I'm trying to see what kind of... She took a little, little bit of damage from Black Flash there. See, I'm not, I'm not wanting her to be like just this absolute beast health-wise, but the kid is asking for her to get hit. So by that token, you got to be able to... She has to be able to revive something. She has to be able to survive something. All right, so the strength downs are going out. The intelligence downs are going out. Okay, so that was okay. That was an okay showing. I think I'm going to put it in 2x for the next one so I can catch it a little bit better. But that was okay. Relatively tomato can team. Uh, you always have to be aware of Spectre, but I mean, when you have the right tools, then it's not that bad. Uh, this would be a challenge. However, they don't have anybody really in that leadership spot. Now, I don't want to attract the attention of Trigun or Cheshire, so I'm tempted to put in Ultraman to deal with that. But then at the same time, I'm going to have to take out Spectre as soon as possible. But we do have Harley Quinn over there who's going to be the taunter. All right, so let's go ahead and put Ultraman in. And I'm wondering if I should run a dual taunter setup. Where are you, Ultraman? Oh, I'll put Earthling. He is not an Earthling. All right, so Ultraman. Then we do have Cheshire. We're going to need a can't miss to deal with Cheshire. 
So let's. Mm. I was tempted to put in uh, Cyborg Superman. However, let's see. There's special damage over there. Special damage. Three of them are special damage. Two of, or two of them are special damage. Two of them are physical damage. I'm saying that because I was thinking about putting Terra in. However, Terra's A1 has been missing Cheshire every once in a while. And that doesn't make sense because, you know, it's can't miss. Um, let's see. Hmm. I mean, I could drop in Superboy, but I really want to have another Taunter in there just to be safe. I mean, I could run Barda. She is not the Taunter she used to be, and it breaks my heart to have to say that because I really like her. Um, and then, oh, but we're going to probably get, oh, if we get enraged, that's a problem too. All right, so I might just run the risk right now and put in Nightwing at lead. And hope we don't get enraged. And then if we do get enraged, I'm probably going to have to put in Terra and just change things up a bit. Where are you, Nightwing? Where are you at? There you are. Let's go ahead and get you in there. Let's see. Now, she seems very much support. Purging debuffs, giving you hit, mins, and all that jazz. So in this role, just protect, just protect her. Let's see. Of course we get enraged because... Harley Quinn on defense is a beast. Ugh. All right, so there's that. Oh, nice. All right, so then the taunt. Ooh, good, you missed there. Got some end downs and strength downs out there on Trigun. He missed on his trying to steal buffs. There you go, Ultraman. Way to retaliate. Let's go ahead and put this... Stun on Spectre. And now, does she have any debuffs? No. So, I want to purge five buffs from targets. Apply buff immunity on primary target. Let's see if it works with Cheshire. Nope, did not apply because I missed. Oh, no, no, I actually hit, so why didn't it apply it? Did it not apply the buff immunity? No, it didn't. But that I read that correctly, no? Am I, am I crazy over here? What's wrong? What happened? All right, so we'll try that one more time. Oh, you know what? Now I'm thinking about it. Who might be good to run with? Oh, well, maybe not. I was thinking maybe it would be good to run Stitch with Indigo 1. All right, so here we go. Apply the men's, the death immunity on the primary target, 20% shield per alive teammate. That helps. 80% shield. Going at him. All right. Now let's stun Trigun. Okay. And then let us transfer some debuffs or at least get some debuffs out there. The damage immunity or the damage um, crit damage down. Let's go ahead and lay down some more. And then she had a disease at the end, but it should have transferred, right? Given the passive ability. And the teammate has it at the end of their turn. Okay, okay. We look to be in good shape, even though we're facing off against Trigun and Cheshire. Like, there's a lot of disease over there on Barda. I see it. We have a lot of men's out there, though. Let's see if I can hit Cheshire a little bit. Okay, got a hit on her. Another hit on Cheshire. Is Indigo 1 proving to be useful as she's sitting there sending debuffs back? Let's see. Is she going to send any more out there? I'm just... I mean, I guess one of them got transferred. So debuffs here. Damage to all enemies. Purge five buffs from targets. Apply one buff immunity to the primary target if Indigo 1 has no debuffs. If Indigo 1 has, okay, so this is where I want to this is where I want to use the A3 because then I can purge some of the buffs, but then also she gets death immunity and then I should have transferred some of the disease over, right? There's so much disease on Barter right now. <laughs> so why isn't she, I guess the men's are helping her keep pace with the disease. So yeah, let's go ahead and try to stun Cheshire. Cool, we're good with it. And now we gotta take care of Trigun. How is this gonna work? Ugh. All right, so. Trigun might be a problem. 
Trigun might be a problem. Feels like they're not laying in. He's, well, he's just transferring them back over. All right. Come on now. Come on now. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. A1, send some of those debuffs over there to him. He's stunned. Now the damage immunity is gone. Let's see. Try not to buff in the meantime. Urgh. He got the tone on him, but he didn't get any like damage immunity or anything like that, so we're okay. Lay down the int downs. Let's transfer these debuffs back over there to him. Uh, are we going to keep pace? Are we going to be able to keep pace? Mm. I don't know. Let's stun him again. Let's try to keep pace. Purging some of the debuffs and putting disease over there on him. Then giving that death immunity and shield and mins we like. Okay, Indigo one. Okay, you might you might be doing something over here. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I just had to put you in the right setup. That might be it. Get some of those disease back over there on Trigun. He's still stunned. We like that he's stunned. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ah. Come on. We're almost there. All right. Uh, buff immunity. Plus a stun is out there on him. Now. Oh, no. I saw a stun. There was no stun? No stun. Okay. Uh, we're reducing the turn meter with her A1 as well. I forgot all about that aspect. That actually helps a little bit. Let's get that. Dis uh, uh, uh. Ah, he's making it. Mm. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. I was going to try to do multiple battles, but this might be the... Because uh, this is only the second battle I'm doing. All right, reducing the turn meter. Come on, stun. And then save bar to stun for after this. Let's remove these deep, these buffs. The da of course, the damage immunity stayed. Of course, the damage immunity stayed. All right, let's go ahead and put some more debuffs on you. Why would we do that? That was stupid of me. Mm-hmm. Now he's attacking Indigo 1. I mean, we're keeping pace with, if I can get the damage immunity off of him. I feel like we got him. Like a stun, some damage immunity out there. All right, so let's go ahead and transfer some of these buffs. Yeah, these debuffs, I should say. Let's transfer this disease over there. I mean, if I can get one stun from Barda, come on, lady. Come on, lady. Mm. This might take a minute. How long has this battle been going on? Like two minutes now? <sighs> Come on. See, that A3 just keeps purging it. All right, so I'm going to try to hold the stun for a minute. Okay. I think we stun him on the next go around. But the thing is, is like you see the disease is like disappearing as you go through. So like, even though I'm not getting through it and this battle might last forever, legit, um, you see it working. Because typically by this point, if you're facing a Trigun, you're already dead from disease. So this is might be the ultimate proof that what she's doing is working. I mean, you got... Ultraman transferring buffs too, but not nearly as much as before because there's nobody on his team that's a villain. So he's transferring a couple over there too. All right. So yeah, this might have to be the last one because this video is already 20 minutes deep and we're just dealing with the Trigun. But I think that this is proof that she's not as bad as I thought. So I'm going to have to keep playing with her. And then when the versus comes, we'll see. My main issue was the damage. Ugh. But, I mean, she's... And, and and the other part of it is there's two energy tunes over there. He is a mystic special damage. So, like, he's keeping pace. They're keeping pace. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I got to retreat. I got to retreat. I'll do one more. I'll do one more and then be done with it. But that, that gave me some hope. Like, I, the, in defeat, it gave me some hope because... Typically, disease is running rampant, and we're already, like, done. So I'm going, I'm actually going all the way back, because I want to check on her kit one more time, be sure I'm doing this right. So, every time Indigo 1 receives damage, 90% chance to apply 3 strength down, 3 intelligence down, da, 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 call assist, and transfer up to 5 debuffs on the attacker, so when she's getting hit. 
All right, now let's go ahead and go this one. If someone on the team has at least one disease at the end of the turn, then you purge six debuffs. I don't know why I had transfer in my head. I had transfer in my head because of the A4P1. And that is only transferring when she gets hit. But otherwise, you're purging six. That's why they just constantly disappeared. Because you're just purging it. I wish it was transferring. Maybe that's the problem. I was wishing it was transfer. All right. I don't want to go at that team again because I feel like it's going to take forever. So we'll just go at a tomato can team. Um, but they're not going to really debuff. Because that, mm, well, let's see. I mean, Supergirl's going to put debuffs out there. And actually, you know what? I'll do something stupid. Let's do something stupid then. Okay, so we'll put Enchantress in to just deal with Atrocitus in the first place. Boo. Uh, then we will put in Poison Ivy or a Bensor. I'm going to put in a Bensor. Because what we're about to do, the stupid thing I'm about to do, is make Indigo want a Taunter. Oh, sorry, he is an alien. Definitely not an Earthling. Um, which could prove to be dumb. But I'm going to be dumb. All right, so. And plus, if I'm dumb and we die fast, and it's a quicker video. All right, so. Uh, let's see. No more transfers. I already had Huntress running once, right? Because they up oh, Q. We have literally no damage dealers, all support. Literally no damage dealers. Or Punchline. Punchline's been fun lately. Or Peacemaker. You know what? Forget it. So, thank you guys for watching. I enjoy these such videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So please like, please subscribe. If you don't like it, subscribe and a dislike. I'm okay with that as well. Buy me a coffee. Help support the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Let's see how this goes. Okay, we got our damage immunity. Yep, we're good so far. And then, oh, of course you stun Indigo 1. And a Ben Sewer. The two I was about to use, bruh. All right, so let's try to get this stun off of a Ben Sewer. Didn't work. But I don't have any debuffs, so without the debuffs, I could put buff immunity on the primary target. We already have a bunch of strength downs on Supergirl. You know what? Let's put the death immunity on Indigo 1 since she's going to use her damage immunity. And why is it's already her turn again? What, what? So then who do I want to put the buff immunity on? I mean, let's say Spectre. Cool. Mm. So she healed a little bit because she took the damage. She trans. She did do, she got some turn meter up. Okay, that was a good look. And she put intelligence downs and strength downs over there on Spectre. Let's just go ahead and use the A2 from question. Ooh. I like. And now I'm turning Indigo 1 into a Taunter. That's dumb. Um, is Spectre stunned right now? Or is he just not doing anything? I guess that's it. Thank you guys for watching all the way through. I'll see you next time. I might have been wrong. I was wrong.